Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not new here, welcome back. Uh, this week on Drawsome, we are doing something that makes a lot of people extremely nervous. And it, yes, it's safe for work. Um, but I think most artists really struggle with hands. So this week we're doing hands. So, I am completely without internet right now, so I could not bring up any kind of references or anything like that because I do everything on my phone. I record everything and edit and all that. So, <clears throat> what I thought I would do is explain to everyone what it is I do when it comes to cartooning. And when it comes to hands, it's a lot more liberal. You can get away with a lot more um, when it comes to drawing hands. So, let me move some of this stuff. Scooch this over. So I'm going to show you <clears throat> how I draw Floof's hands. So here's Floof. Yeah, he looks a little worried, as we all do. And we know we have to draw hands. Now, when it comes to cartooning, you don't have to have the whole four fingers and a thumb. Floof has got three fingers and a thumb. And some people might ask, well, why? It just makes it a little easier to uh, make sure that he doesn't look too realistic and that he is a cartoon. So, when it comes to hands though, you should know how to draw a regular hand and all of the different, um, we all have, you know, you've got three parts to each finger, which means you've got two knuckles. These two, two here. This is what everybody has a problem with. Let me show you. When you're drawing a hand, whether it be for a cartoon or a semi-realistic or even realistic. You start out with, like, this would be the palm of the hand. And each finger has three parts. Because in between each one of these would be a knuckle. That's where they will all bend. Okay? Now your thumb always comes off. You always have one big part and two little parts. Make sure this one overlaps because that's this big chunky part of your hand right there. That big part there. That's what this is. You have your wrist and your side of your hand. See, once you've drawn this out, all you have to do is go around the outside. Connecting everything. Remember these are bumpy and that the outside of the thumb is smooth. The exterior side of the pinky side always has this, that is the bone here in your, in your wrist. Some people accentuate it, some people leave it out entirely. So once you've got that, let's show. Just go over that line with the pen. Like your inking, your picture. Now this part of the thumb will always have that 
pads, the fingers. Maybe you kind of show that there's your lines in your middle palm of your hand. Maybe show that this comes in just a little bit for the wrist lines here. And then when everything is said and done, go in here and erase all this mess. Voila, you have a hand. Now, you say, oh, but I can't do that every time, and what if I want a different position? Okay, not a problem. We have hands to look at. Use them as reference. It's the best thing you can do. And if you're having issues like, well, I'm left-handed and all I ever draw is right-handed. Well, okay, I'm right-handed. I always use my left. So, it's very simple. All you're going to do is just reverse everything. So you have your fingers. And your thumb. And your wrist. And then you just go around them. Now, one good rule of rule of thumb, <laughs> rule of thumb, is to make sure that your middle finger is always slightly taller than the other three, and that your pinky is always the shortest. And that kind of helps you keep track of which side you're putting your thumb on, because there's always a lot of people who get confused when they're looking at when they're drawing a picture, and you've got both hands out there. They're like, "Oh my gosh, I drew the thumbs on the wrong side." It happens. But if you keep that one the longest, this one the shortest, it kind of goes, oh, then the opposite side is going to be the thumb. And then we just have our little lumpy thumb in there. your hand and it would be the same as this so let's say you want to draw a fist how is that done this right here is your best friend these little lines here because that shows how many knuckles are being bent over so you have one two three you have one two three so if you go one two three and then one, two, three. Then you've got that portion of the hand, which is always normally the hardest part to draw because people don't know how many they can't, it's, it's hard to remember, I think, how many knuckles there are. So it's like you, if you sketch things in, You can kind of see how things start to develop. It's one of these things where it just takes trial and error. But if you can look at your own hand in different positions, you can draw them. It's just muscle memory. Making sure that you know how far up your, like the fingernail would go. Do you see these fingernails here when you've made a fist? Do you not want to see them? Do you just see the back of the hand? It's all perspective. So if you're going to draw, let's say we're going to do this, but we're going to draw the back of the hand. It's it's all the same. You draw the little thing for the palm. You draw your fingers. You go 
there. And your thumb. You need to outline everything. side of my hand. Well, that little wrist bone, that little wrist bone always goes on the side with the, with the pinky. And then you can put in your fingernails if you want. And then from there you just start, you know, adding in your details. So it's it's basically just practicing. But use your own hand as your reference. It's the, <laughs> it's the best reference you've got and you can carry it with you everywhere you go. I mean, we look at these things all day long. You would think we'd be better at drawing them. And I know some people out there that are fabulous at drawing hands. Uh, Darkest Raven Designs, for instance. You gotta go see her video today. It's really awesome. And uh, so, yeah, if you are having issues with drawing hands, now there there's plenty of other people who they use the same basic steps. Um, <laughs> waffles. She kills me. I love the way she does them. She basically makes a box of french fries. Splits the middle one down. And then she draws in all her, her details. But, I mean, they look really good, especially if, you know, I mean, some people, it, it's all on your style, too. So, it's, there's so many ways of doing it. There's lots of uh, tutorials on how to draw hands. Um, like I said, for cartoony, if you're going to go cartoony, um, those can be done in lots of different ways. Excuse me. There are, uh, let's see. And then some people will actually go so far as to, it'll just look like a mitten. So it's, it's all on your own style. It really is. Uh, what, let me see. There was, oh, what other one? Uh, I think we're gonna put it. <laughs> if you draw a fist, Do with your style I think is to how you want them to look but if you're not happy with your style change it up there's different ways of doing it there's different ways of coming up with the shape um, you know to, to where it's it's either semi-realistic or 
a little more on the cartoony side or completely cartoony. So there's there's so many different ways of doing it. And that's that's the that's the beauty of art is you can do it pretty much any way as long as you've got the parts down correctly. So if you can remember this where each finger has got two places where it folds and then it's overall fold and that the thumb has this large portion here by, down by the you know base of the hand and then two here you've got it then you can bend them however you want so it's it's like I said you can bend your fingers and you see these lines here that then those that here these three shapes here so it's just play with them see how it goes and yeah keep practicing y'all so um, if you wanted to draw some hands along with me that is great please um, tag me and Chantel Darkest Raven Designs and Aurora's Art World on Instagram so we can see what all you've done with your sketches of hands and maybe you'll get featured in next week's video and until then I sure do love y'all budges. See you later. Bye.